Continued reading of the CFA Level 1 Program Curriculum Reading 4, Introduction to Global Investment Profession of Performance Standards, GIPS. Lesson outcomes explain why the GIP standards were created, what parties and GIP standards apply to, and who it serves by the standards. Uh, two, explain the construction and purpose of composites in performance reporting. And lastly, three, explain the requirements of verification. Um, why are the GIP standards created? Uh, institutions and individuals are constantly scrutinizing past uh, investment performance returns in search of the best manage, uh, manager to achieve their in investment objectives. In the past, the investment community had greater difficulty making meaningful comparisons on the basis of accurate investment performance data. Several performance measurements uh, practices hinders the comparability of performance returns from one firm to another, while others call into question the accuracy and credibility of performance and reporting overall. Misleading practices include one, representative accounts, Selecting a top performing portfolio to represent uh, the firm's overall investment results uh, for a specific mandate. Uh, two, uh, survivorship bias preventing an average performance history that excludes portfolios whose poor performance was weak enough to result in the termination of the firm. And lastly, three, a verification, a verifying time periods, um, presenting performance in a select time period during uh, which the mandate precedes excellent returns uh, for outperforms its benchmarks, making comparisons with other firms. Uh, results difficulties are or, or uh, results difficult or impossible. Make a valid comparison for investment performances among. Uh, among even the most uh, ethical investment management firms is problematic. For example, a pension fund seeking to hire an investment manager to a management firm to receive proposals for several firms, all using different methodologies for calculating their results. Uh, the GIP standards are uh, are pr practitioners the driven set uh, ethical principles that establish a standardization uh, industry wide approach for investment firms to follow its calculations and presentation their historical investment results to prospective clients. The GIP standards ensure fair representation and full disclosure of investment performance. In other words, the GIP standards lead investment uh, management firms to avoid misrepresentation and of performance and to communicate all relevant information that uh, prospective clients should know in order to uh, evaluate their past results. Uh, two, part two, who could claim compliance? First, uh, any investment manager or management firm may choose to comply with GIP standards. Complying with GIP standards is voluntary. A compliance with GIP standards is not typically required by legal or regulatory authorities. Second, uh, only investment manager firms uh, that actually manage assets can come uh, to claim compliance with the standards. Uh, plan sponsors and consultants cannot uh, cannot make a claim of compliance unless they actually manage assets of which they are making a claim of compliance. Uh, they can claim to endorse the standards and or require that investment managers comply with the standards. Uh, similarly, software and vendors who uh, supply software cannot, uh, com uh, cannot be compliant with software. Uh, cannot be compliant. Software can assist firms in achieving uh, compliance with GIP standards, e.g. by calculating performance in a manner consistent with the calculation requirements by the standards, but only an investment manager f a management firm can claim compliance once the firm has satisfied all requirements of the standards. Third, uh, compliance to a firm-wide process uh, that cannot be achieved in a single product or composite a firm has only two options uh, with regard to compliance with the GIP standards, fully comply with all requirements of the stand GIP standards and claim compliance through the use of GIP compliance statements or not comply with all requirements of the GIP standards and not comply with or make any reference to the GIP standards. Who benefits from the compliance? The GIP standards benefit two main groups, investment management firms and prospective clients. By choosing to comply with the GIP standards, investment management firms assure prospective clients that historical Historical track record they report is both complete and fairly presented. Uh, compliance enables the GIP compliant from firm to uh, participate in competitive bids against other compliance uh, firms through the world. Achieving and maintaining compliance may also strengthen the firm's internal control over performance-related process uh, processing procedures. Uh, investors have a greater level of confidence in the integrity of the performance uh, presentation of GIP compliant firms and can more easily compare performances, uh, performance presentations with different investment management firms. Uh, while the GIP standards certainly do not eliminate the need for in-depth due diligence on the parts of the investor, 
uh, compliance with the standards enhances the credibility of investment management firms and have chosen to, uh, to undertake their responsibility. Uh, composites, one of the key concepts of the standard is the requirement uh, to require use of composites. A composite is an aggregation of one or more portfolio managed accords to a similar investment mandate, objective, or strategy. A composite must include all actual fees, mandates, objectives, or strategy. Uh, for example, if a, if a, if a JIP compliant firm presents its track record to the global equity composite, the composite, the composites includes all portfolios uh, that are managed or have historically been managed in the firm's global equity strategy. The firm may not subjectly select the global equity portfolios uh, will be included or excluded from the calculations of the presentation of the global equity composites. The determination of which portfolios are included in the composite should be done according to the pre-established criteria, i.e. on what ex ante basis, uh, not after the fact, the, um, this prevents a firm from including only their best past performing portfolios in the composite. A verification, a part five, uh, firms and uh, firms that claim compliance with JIP standards are responsible for their claims and compliance with and for maintaining um, the, co uh, the compliance. This is that is a firms uh, self regulate their claims of compliance. Once a firm's claims compliance with the standards, they must viol voluntarily hire an independent third party to perform a verification in order to increase confidence in the firm's claims um, to compliance. Verification may also increase the knowledge of the firm's performance measures, men's team, and improve the consistency and quality of the firm's compliance presentation. Verification is performed with respect to the entire firm. Uh, not on specific composites. Verification does not ensure the accuracy of any specific composite presentation. Verifications test one, uh, whether the investment firm has complied with all the composite constructions required for the GIP standards on a firm-wide basis. And two, whether the firm's policies and procedures are designed to calculate the present performance and compliance with GIP standards. Verification uh, must be performed by an independent third party. A firm cannot perform its own verification. Third-party verification brings additional credibility to the firm's uh, claims of compliance. A verification firm may provide existing and prospective clients with greater assurance about the claim of the compliance with the GIP standards. Verifications uh, may also provide an improved internal process and the procedures, as well as a marketing advantage to the firm. The structure of the GIP standards of performance within the 2010 edition of the GIP standards are divided into nine sections, fundamentals of compliance, input data, calculation methodology, composite co uh, construction, disclosure, presentation and reporting, real estate, private equity, uh, wrap fees, separately managed accounts, or uh, in brackets, SMA, portfolios, the, prov uh, the provision are uh, further categorized into requirements and recommendations. So this is reading four for uh, introduction to our GIP standards. Or in reading five, we're going to be going on to uh, in-depth reading of uh, the global investment professional standards or uh, performance standards, or so global investment performance standards, uh, which will be uh, reading five, which is a much longer reading than uh, reading four, which is really, really short. Okay.